Welcome to Gaylord. We are uh, we're a circuit comprised of three counties, uh, Crawford, Kalkaska, and Otsego. And we have been asked to uh, explain the benefits of us using Polycom to improve, us, improve efficiency, service to the public, and safety. Yes, and in addition to my duties uh, as circuit judge within our three counties, I'm also a presiding judge over the Northern Michigan Regional Sobriety Court, which is comprised of six counties. We have review hearings every two weeks, and the Polycom system allows me to conduct hearings with participants in multiple locations at the same time and really makes a six-county treatment court possible. Excuse me, judges. I've received a call from the Sheriff's Department that we have an arraignment in Crawford County on Mr. Wolf and also in Kalkaska County on Mr. Kruger. Okay, well, Mr. Wolf has been assigned to me. He's facing some rather serious charges, and I've heard some safety concerns, so I'm going to opt to handle him via Polycom. Yeah, oh boy, Mr. Kruger. I think it would be better to, to do that arraignment in person, so uh, I'm going to travel to Kalkaska and conduct that arraignment there. Now, I'd like to also consider bond. Um, do you have anything that you'd like to say regarding bond? All right, well, I think in light of the murder charge and the attempted murder charge, uh, no bond is appropriate at this time. Well, it looks like I got through these files for Monday, so it's about quitting time. Um, I wonder how Judge Mertz's day went. <sighs> Jen, I'm sorry I'm late. Sorry it took me so long. I'm ready to do the arraignment for Mr. Kruger now. I'm sorry we're all set. Judge Boudet did the arraignment. We didn't know where you were. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. Should've used Polycom. Greetings from the top of Michigan, beautiful Keweenaw County. My name is Jim Jaskalainen, Keweenaw County probate judge, the only part-time, part-paid judge left in the state of Michigan. Our courthouse is over 125 years old, and despite the antiquity of our courthouse, we still have the benefit of some of the most updated and sophisticated equipment available. For example, we have video conferencing equipment, Polycom, which enables us to have witnesses such as doctors or other experts appear live in court despite their being hundreds of miles uh, away. We recently had a MI case here where the person requested a jury trial, um, which he was entitled to by right. Um, we were able to have the doctor in Marquette appear by video conferencing um, and the jury along with counsel and the, def the uh, subject of the petition were able to see and hear the doctor live. Um, without this type of equipment, it would have been done primarily over speakerphone, which is nowhere near as effective. So despite our relative isolation up here, we are still able to function uh, as do most other courts in the rest of the state. Our district court had an internal process where we would, on ticketing, where we would have individuals be able to come in and meet with a police officer and then uh, have a conversation and perhaps a plea bargain and then the, the magistrate would take over that process and actually process the ticket and uh, have the people pay the ticket and be able to leave. Uh, when we started having uh, countywide meetings, we found out that the East Lansing District Court had started doing an online process which was very similar to the process that we utilized. So in conjunction with the City Attorney's Office and Lansing Police Department, we sat down and created and worked with the uh, software company in an effort to do online ticketing. 
And in this process, it's almost the exact same thing as if people would come in off the street, but this allowed them through the use of um, their phone or their computer to do the same thing. And what the online ticketing allows them to do is from their home, they enter in the ticket number that they've received and the software will identify the ticket or even if it's not been identified it allows them to get on a waiting list and the, we will notify them once we've received that ticket. The software also will be dedicated to um, create a process where it actually pulls up the driving record and lets us know if the person meets the criteria that our court has set up if it's a qualified ticket and if they meet the criteria to have a plea bargain. The, uh, both the police department and a magistrate review that information, take in any, look at any of the notes, and if they're qualified, we'll inform them, again, electronically, that they have been able to receive a plea bargain in this case, what the plea will be to, and what the amount of the fine will be. And then we set a specific date where that fine has to be paid by. That can also be done online, the actual payment. If they don't qualify for the ticket process, the court also or the, the software also allows them to set up their next hearing so that again they can be in control of the uh, times so that, that they come back to court. So it's, it's just like the process that they would have had if they came to court, only it's online. And for our customers, that allows them to not have to come downtown, find a parking space, take off time from work, and it really is a bonus for both sides and that we, we can proceed without having to schedule another appointment. The online ticketing process, the software itself does a lot of the work for us, so our uh, clerks don't have to then run the driving record, and it's taken care of them in that sense. From day one, we started getting tickets in uh, immediately, and we found that it's going to be helping the court in keeping down some of the traffic that we have here. It helps for security and that we're not checking in so many people uh, and that they can take advantages of technology and using that for an online ticket process.